Patriots fans and Texans fans, thank you for joining us today on this Locked on Patriots, Locked on Texans crossover episode. Mike DeBate of Locked on Patriots joined by Brian, Big Sarge Bearfield, host of Locked on Texans. And Brian, we've talked a lot about what the New England Patriots and the Houston Texans need to do to remain competitive and to give themselves an edge in this game. But when it comes right down to it, these games are usually about keys to victory little things that these teams need to do, maybe major things these teams need to do in order to make sure that they're on the winning side. Being the visiting team, when you look at the Houston Texans, what would you say are the keys to victory this Sunday for Houston? The only key, uh, they only have, they, there's only one key for the Houston Texans this weekend, and that is to get that offense going. Now, when you look at their stats, I know that they're ranked number one in passing offense with 272 yards per game i know that they're um they are six in total offense at 376.6 yards per game but the offense has looked stale the offense has looked ineffective at time it looks like they're stuck sometimes in mud and they need to get out of that mud get out of that rut and get going they haven't scored over 30 points this year and with the amount of talent that they have on the offensive side of the ball led by quarterback cj stroud now is the time. This is one of the times where you're playing against a team, and I don't want to call the Patriots a weaker opponent because you, you any team can be beaten in the NFL on any given Sunday. Last year we watched the Houston Texans go into uh, a game against the Carolina Panthers. The Panthers were winless on the season, and they lost. Mm. Went in against the Atlanta Falcons, a team that they should have beaten very, very handedly on that day, and they lost. And so you cannot look past any team in the NFL. But with the amount of firepower that they have and the offensive mind and Bobby Slowick, the only key to victory is to make sure that you're scoring and you keep scoring. In the second half, uh, in, in the second half of games this season, that offense has become putrid. And I know people don't like when I say that, but, you know, before last Sunday, they were averaging 8.5 points uh, in the second half. And you can get that from kicker Kaimi Fairbairn, mm. especially with this type of offense. You have to score, score and keep scoring, keep your foot on the gas. And so the only key to victory is to make sure that that offense runs smoothly and effectively. Very good point. And I think that if the Houston Texans do that, once again, it's going to be a long day for the New England Patriots, even though they are playing in those snazzy red throwbacks, which I know <laughs> fans are going to love to see. They are at home. They are starting a rookie quarterback, and it is the beginning of a new era. It will be a bright era in New England, folks, but they're facing a tough team on Sunday, and it's going to be awfully tough to gain this victory. But I am here to tell you, Patriots fans, there is a way to do it. The way the Patriots need to earn a victory against the Texans is, first off, they need to protect their quarterback the Patriots need Vidarian Lowe to have another strong game at left tackle they need the Patriots interior of the defense of the, the interior of the offensive line to play solid which means that Nick Leverett who did not participate in practice on Wednesday he needs to be a little bit better when it comes to standing up to pressure he allowed nine last week against the Miami Dolphins that cannot happen if the Patriots want to have even a chance to remain competitive in this game and again Michael Wenu on that right side needs to be the stabilizing force and he needs to be the guy that's going to help to dictate what type of game that line has if that line can hold up the patriots have a puncher's chance in this one that means ramondre has to be strong running the football that means antonio gibson needs to be a strong receiver out of the backfield and be a third down weapon and the patriots have to get the passing game involved there will be times, Sarge, where you will see Drake May make eye-opening throws, and Patriots fans will be excited. The problem is, is, is he going to be able to make enough of them? And you mentioned the secondary of Houston, and as well as that pressure-packed defense led by Daniil Hunter and Will Anderson. going to be tough for the Patriots to do that. On defense, the Patriots have to try to control what is a very dangerous Houston offense. The way to do that is to ride the legs and the arms of Christian Gonzalez, who has been one of the better cornerbacks in the league this year. The size, the length, the ability to be able to lock down his opponent. He knows Stephon Diggs very well from their time going against each other from here in New England and again in Buffalo. This is going to be something where he's going to have to be very good 
against one of the best receivers and a receiver that knows this area and knows this team very well, that's going to be a challenge. If Christian can keep Stefan in lockdown or at least marginally disrupt what he likes to do, once again, Pats have a puncher's chance in this one. But finally, and this is going to be the big key, they have to hope Houston makes some mistakes and the Patriots have to capitalize on it. I think this is the biggest key to victory for New England. When you match up these two teams on paper, Houston should win this matchup nine times out of ten. If the Patriots can capitalize on mistakes and can force them, that's where they're going to be able to feed off the home crowd, use that newfound energy from Drake May starting in this game, and then they have a chance to do it. Do I like their chances in this game? Uh We'll see. (laughs) But at the same time, I know Pats fans are going to be very excited to see Drake Bay under center, and they're going to be very excited to see what a lot of us believe to be a strong Super Bowl contender in the Houston Texans. I'm looking forward to it. Sarge is looking forward to it. We'll be in attendance, and we're going to be ready to break this game down for you. But first of all, Bud, I just want to thank you very much for joining me here today on this crossover episode, for joining the Locked On family. Honored to be your colleague. More honored to now be your friend, and I'm looking forward to covering this one. So any parting words for Patriots fans or Texans fans when it comes to this one heading into week six, bud? Well, I just want to tell the Houston Texans, and I meant to throw this in there, hey, cut down on the penalties. It will make the fans Mm -hmm. very, very happy. Other than that, hey, I look forward to seeing what the Houston Texans are going to do. And like I said, any given Sunday, any team could be beat. I just don't think that it's going to be this Sunday. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, we're uh, – and I think you make a great point on penalties, Sarge. The Patriots had a half dozen – the Patriots had a dozen penalties that they were whistled for last week against the Dolphins, six of which by colleagues of mine that I hold in the highest regard – were labeled as egregious or totally avoidable. That's not good. Patriots have to be more disciplined. Houston has to be more disciplined. Whichever team wins that battle may end up coming out on top.